in this video i'm going to introduce to you uh, a very popular and very well known uh, data uh, website available which is uh, you know is an open source uh, uh, site so you can download the data sets for use so the name of the data uh, uh, set website is data.gov um, if you search uh, data.gov uh, in Google, uh, you'll get to uh, the first link that you will get uh, is what the site is, uh, and it's uh, you know it's uh, uh, maintained by or it's managed by the U.S. government. So it uh, the U.S. government uh, open data source initiative is known as the data.gov. So you'll get several data from different types or different departments of U.S. government. Which is very useful uh, uh, for you know many uh, startups and many researchers. So uh, anyone can actually uh, request for data, uh, can download the data that they already have, um, and uh, can also contribute towards uh, you know uh, development some of some of the applications uh, happening on the data set. So uh, so this is the data set. Uh, this is the website uh, that uh you know uh, has lot of data sets free data sets so you go to uh, topics and you will see data sets for different uh, you know segments or different uh, areas you will get data sets from agriculture you will get data sets from business you will get data set from climate uh, weather consumer ecosystem education energy finance health uh, local government manufacturing ocean uh, public safety science and research so there is uh, just in, uh, you know huge uh, number of data sets uh, available uh, for you know for free so let's go to finance and probably we'll see one one or two data set so if you go to uh, finance uh, you know the first data it comes is small business lending with open data so you can you know you can view this data set and download uh, directly so you'll get the data dictionary the data set in excel or csv and so on uh, similarly, you will get data sets for you know banking related activities, uh, mortgage, uh, and different security informations uh, for different banks and so on. Uh, so, uh, if you are trying your hand in analyzing data, in learning some of the algorithms um, and uh, you know modeling, and then these data sets are like invaluable. You can use these data sets for learning purpose, and also you can create applications around these data sets. Some of the uh, impact that this data set uh, has already uh, made uh, in, in different uh, sectors is also listed out here. You can go to the impact section and you will uh, see that you know what are uh, the different impacts that uh, this data set uh, has actually made to the, in, in different uh, areas. Many people has con have contributed research area, uh, papers on these data sets. Many people have also created startups. Um, around these data sets so just to know what are the startups created uh, uh, based on this uh, open data source there are a few of them here so here is air now and then bank local in us is one startup started with uh, which is using uh, you know uh, the data sets from uh, data.gov uh, so and and for developers who want to contribute to the open source project you can go to the developer section and you can uh, you know contribute towards uh, the open source project uh, which is uh, managing and maintaining the data uh, on data.gov uh, if you want more information want any specific data you can go to the contact section and you can actually ask for uh, you know a particular uh, set of data set and you know if that is available with them they will be sending you to you for you know different purposes so this is a very good website uh, if you are uh, you know learning uh, data science or analytics or econometrics or statistics you want to apply what you have learned uh, on a data set you will get and all these data sets are real data set that means these are not simulated data sets good thing with real data set is that it is going to be uh, uh, you know a little messy so you will uh, spend a lot of time in cleaning the data so which will give a good hands-on experience of how data cleaning should happen before you know implementing algorithms or model and then when you uh, 
apply this algorithm many a times with the real data it's not going to work or maybe you are not going to get good results and that's actually a good thing in learning because you know when you start you should actually should not do uh, really well with the model uh, or well with the algorithm you know you should you know slowly get better and better uh, you know with and that's possible only with the real data with simulated data you know you're going to get a really good result in the very beginning but which is not going to be there when you actually face the real scenario so you know practicing uh, you know modeling on the real data is always a good thing and you can get real data on data.gov and and do you can also uh, write about uh, these data sets and you can publish your work uh, on your blog uh, and you know also visualize uh, create visualization uh, graphs and charts and uh, you know share it on in your blog or, or create uh, YouTube videos and share um, and uh, you know you, you, you're going to learn a lot okay hope it helps um, so thank you you can uh, use this site for learning purpose